Hello, everyone. We are free to have a conversation. Y'all know how I do it. You know I don't play no sugar coat. I don't put ice cream on the trunk. I tell you like it is, because that's what I do. Now, I want to talk to some young people. Now, listen up. This is my opinion from what I've been through in my life. And I've been through a lot of things, okay? I learned as a doing readings and in my life that people grow up, they get attacked when they're younger. Allegedly, we, you, get a, you were attacked as a younger child or abused in some shape or form. But remember, being abused don't make you a victim. What makes you a victim is you don't speak up. You stay there in that same situation. You don't make moves to make it better. That's, the, that's called a generational curse. A curse is made by the past. A lot of words and the way people feel about you and be saying about you, they don't even know the words that's coming out their mouth. Because the thing you gotta learn, you gotta love your enemy, just like you love yourself. If you love yourself, why you hate them so much? Yes, they're your enemy, but they're here to do it. Because you calm. See, you're paying off and working that off. So yes, there's people here to make your life a little bit hard till you learn the lesson that you're supposed to learn in this century that you're in. Now, allegedly, this is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Don't want nobody to take it off the mustard and go and get their panties in the tight water or their man panty, whatever, man boxers or whatever you want to call it. You know, not no offense to anybody. It's not to hurt nobody. It's just speaking facts. If I could go back, the first thing I would change is how I think about and how I react to my, when it's dealing with my parents, dealing with relationships. Those are a big part of your life. But when you're attacked and you're hurt, you're broken. So you stay broken for a long time till you come out of that victim consciousness that you deserve better, that you are a powerful vessel in this world and you are to be hurt. As long as you sit back and say nothing, as long as you pray obedient, the evil wins. But the day you speak up for yourself, that's when the evil got to go get more magic. <laughs> because some people, they don't understand you can't touch. But they'll touch it anyway. They don't care if you're anointed. They don't care if, if you work with Jesus yourself. They don't care. Because they want what you are. And that is you. But you can't have that person, you. You got only give what you want to give to people. It's your energy. You don't have to give energy to people that don't give it to you. Remember this. I said this, it came out of my mouth. I gave love to a lot of people in my life. And as I see now, there's not. When people, I've been walked out on, I've been left for dead. I've been sitting here all my life asking for a dollar, working for a dollar, trying to make something in my life. But people have things happen in their life. You think you got it covered. It was not covered. Nothing has ever been covered. You thought it was covered. We're fighting so many battles and generational curses right now. It's hard, we're trying to figure out what we should be doing first. Because as being a person that even talks upon it, on spirituality or anything, you're gonna be outcast. But you know, I'm gonna tell you, thank you for loving my weirdness. Cause my weirdness is just me, baby. You getting 100% me. I'm not trying to give you fake on here, tell y'all some sad news. Oh, it's gonna be this cause it's gossip. No, I ain't got time for that. What I do got time for it is I can get one person to listen to me and change their life. I'm blessed. I'm not worried about what I should have got from them. Oh, I don't get paid. I'm not worried about that. 
because God's, my father pays me. He gonna keep me taken care of because I'm out here trying to help y'all. I am not gonna stop till they put me in that box. And that's the only way of stop. Because I'm going to keep speaking. I learned, I was, my, I was learned in my younger years, it was beating out of me. You couldn't really talk up to a man. These men these days, and women do this, if they feel like you belittled them or, or you may have said something to where over time they took it for a little while, you, you was talking smart, you didn't care about their feelings, then they start talking back because they're not allowing you to enable them anymore. That's what I learned about myself. It ain't no time to swallow and enabling you not to live your life because you're better than that. You pick your bags up. I don't care if nobody loves you, but God, my Father, y'all loves you more than anything. Don't you give up. Don't you stop living because of other people's stupidity. Some of this is all about envy and jealous and just want to be you. But I'm sorry, you can't be me. People try to duplicate that. Yeah, they got these little so-called allegedly clones. I know about that. And they try to clone you the best they can, but they're not going to get the real you. Okay, God is over this vessel. This is the real you, your vessel. So he's over. I don't care how much artificial or what you put out, you're still not going to get the real soul of that person, a real, live, basically good person that give a dirt. Because if you go into the dark, you're going to be all in the dark and you'll be crying. You're going to be crawling to get out. See, the darkness, scare, the darkness scares us. See, there's a reason for that. When you go through those doubts, you're going to see something. How do you think you're born? How do you think you're going? You were scared of darkness. No, you came through that canal. You was not scared of darkness. Fear is a generational curse that is put upon us. There's a lot of curses from the past that we have to break. So are you breaking curses? Or are you just selling to accept what you got? And you're not dealing with what your kids or your grandkids or whatever you they got to deal with to be here. And you come back in, you might have to deal with it, and it happens to you. So I'm just telling you, generational curse, you got to break it. And we're here to do it. So let's enjoy it while you can. And they're going to hurt your feelings. And these comics are going to drive you crazy because that's what they do. They're supposed to do that. They're supposed to dig in your soul, make you dig in, if they want to, the trash can. Because they work for the D. They do. D-E-B-I-L. You know who that is. Don't want to go there. Ain't about the spelling. We still can get it. But like I said, that's an evil identity that wants attachments to be like them. Evil. I'm not trying to do that. Not me. Not no day and, and ain't no time for that. God bless y'all. Love and light.